On to race number 10, which is the second last on the programme, class three here, 1,400 metres in the field, headed by E Star, who's uh, returning great form this uh, season. A winner, two starts back, run up to Kai Ying, excellent last time out. He's a beauty, falls into that category as well. One, two is five starts this campaign. Mighty Valor should roll forward from barrier number two, a two time. Uh, winner over the 1,200 metres. Royal Bomb gets up from the 12 to the 14. Looking great, makes his Hong Kong debut. A two-time winner out of Australia. Sunny Star was a winner course and distance two back. Uh, Diamond Brilliant gets up from 1,000 to 1,400 metres. Beluga, a good third to Lucky Patch. Last amount, Soaring Tower and Pegasus Glory. Both coming up in class and up in a trip as well. Harmony Spirit and Mighty Valor, Mark, are the two horses that have been on the road. Another good field here with the Mighty Valor leading Pegasus Glory. Looking great, dumb and brilliant next two. Beluga, he's up in class, but he's three wide in front of Harmony Spirit. E-Star's racing well. He'll have a trailing spot, one off the rail. Soaring Tower tucked away on the fence. Sunny Star, he goes up in distance for the first time to 1,400. Great treasure back onto the turf as back with He's a Beauty Ball. Uh, Mighty Valor looks good. He goes nicely here in the morning. Wagner Borges knows this uh, horse there. He's, he's ridden him in his last couple. And uh, he'll get first run on most of them, and he looks good once again here. And there's a piece of track work. Uh, the other ones we're going to have a look at here, Beluga. Another one that goes nicely, just under his own steam. We know he's a high-class horse as well. He's a two-time winner from his six starts. And uh, the third behind Lucky Patch was good last time. Just drawn a bit awkward in variant number 11. And uh, the other one we're going to have a look at here is Soaring Tower. Now, he's another one coming in with a lightweight. He's had the two starts and run really well in both of them. One is first and just failed in the second. And he isn't taking a backward step either. He looks good. We'll have a look at him in a moment, uh, Soaring Tower. Let's start off, though, with E Star. Now, he generally gets back, uh, Mark, but finishes off strongly. Carried a big weight on this occasion, running second to Kai Ying. Excellent. He's going so well, E Star, Andrew. Neil Cullen sticks with the ride again. He's written the horse at his last three starts for a win and two placings. Hood comes off. He carried 133 pounds into this second placing pool, so the big weight of 132 is not going to worry him. Certainly got him in the top three. He's drawn a little wider out in barrier number nine, but can't knock his uh, form at the moment. No, very consistent, isn't he? Uh, there's, a quite a, there's a couple of good horses with lighter weights here, but look, he, he's going uh, consistently. Just barrier nine was a little bit query for me. OK, what about Mighty Valor then, Paul? Also finishing second uh, here. This is behind a racing fighter, but it does get barrier two. That's an advantage to him. Yeah, and I think your lead, um, that's, that's his normal style as well. I mean, Pegasus Glory is another one that likes to go forward. But, look, if he can dictate in front, I think he's going to be very hard to beat because uh, the others will have to try and run him down, and we know he's a hard horse to get past. He has a low draw of barrier two. Now, he looked gone here at the 150. Racing fighter was going to beat him easily. He just showed so much fight and heart in the last little bit to come back and simply lost it on the bob of the head. Can't take a backward step from barrier two because they will sweep across quickly from out wide. If he leads, he's awfully hard to get past. All right. Lightweight then for Soaring Tower. Comes up in class, uh, Mark, after winning on debut. Ran second to Excellent Chariot here. He comes up in trip as well. He does indeed, and that should suit him on the way he finishes this race. Figure champ we see in an earlier race, but he closed so well. It's the best draw he's had, Paul, in three starts. He's had seven and ten prior to this race. Barry number three, 1,400 should be perfect. I think Mighty Valor can win, but this horse will be at him late. Yeah, he's a Quidella horse for me as well. Look, he just failed to pick up the, the winner here. It was a really good run, and uh, both runs have been very good since he's uh, been here in Hong Kong. OK, and the first starter here, looking great. His name was um, Holly Run, Casey Fogden. Trained him in Australia. Two wins the Sunshine and the Gold Coast. Is he looking great, Paul? Well, look, he's had the four trials. He's 1,072 pounds, so he's had uh, plenty to get him ready. Uh, look, I'd, I'd like to see him over a little bit further. His wins in, in Australia were over 16 and 18. I just wonder if this is a starting point for him. He held buddies in that trial too, and he has run three seconds over 1,400 prior to arriving, but like Paul, I think I'd prefer him over further. OK, wide market. This one, great treasure. I haven't even mentioned him, Paul. He's the favourite. Yes, yeah, really, another really open race here. But I think Mighty Valor can win. He can uh, dictate in front and be uh, tough to beat. Soaring Tower will be the one coming at him late. Pegasus Glory, another one that will be on the, on the pace. He comes in with that lightweight. And I didn't mind Sunny Star's last run as well. Coming back to 1,400 metres, I think, will suit him as well. 5, 13, 14, 10. Same cue as Paul, 5.13, then a different behind them, one and two to round out the top four. Mighty Valor, he's going to be in front as long as he does jump cleanly from two. Wagner loves to rate one in front. Fair bit of time I've got for Soaring Tower on his first two starts in the extra distance. E Star's racing well. He's a beauty, he copped a bump at the furlong last time. He wasn't going well at the time, but four before that was excellent. He's drawn 13, he'll get back. He was racing really well, his big odds here at the moment. 5.13, one and two, race 10. 
I thought there were a stack of chances here, five or six uh, maybe, but we've all come up with the top two. I've gone actually 13-5 as Mike Quinella there in race number 10, which means there's one more race to go, plus all the best bets. That comes up next.